Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Um, we're here today. I want to make a video today to you guys, uh, give you some good information on um, how you can actually um, get the right type of price to charge for your domain names. Because uh, a lot of people that are new to doing uh, domaining or dom selling domain names uh, don't have a real good idea of what to charge for them. And since they don't, uh, new people that enter into this type of industry, which is a vast and huge industry, and I would definitely recommend anybody getting into selling domain names because it's, it, the, the possibilities are endless and I don't, I don't think there's no hardly any end to this in the future. There's something that's it's not going to end anytime soon. I mean, because it's just constantly growing and snowballing and snowballing. I mean, it's just new domain extensions being added. Seem like uh, every year, almost to me, from what I can see, I've been noticing all types of new uh, domain extensions. Um, but that's not what today's video is about. Um, as you can see. Um, this is the domain I was checking the value for uh, on GoDaddy because they have this go uh, this this they call it um, appraisal tool on GoDaddy.com and this uh, I was just playing around with the keyword stock uh, because I think stock is um, I mean everyone knows what the stock market is I'm pretty sure but I think that's a good keyword uh, domain to try to find um, combination of combinations of domains for so I came up with this big big stock uh, I'm sorry big time stock dot com and um, if you go on godaddy dot com you go to uh, domain appraisal tools or appraisal beta and it'll give you an idea of, um, of well I mean it'll give it's just gonna give you an idea because this is robot AI software so it's not humans doing this okay so don't get this kind of confused um, but with this software and this AI technology it will give you some type of ballpark figure on how much your domain is actually worth okay so this is nothing edged in stone this don't mean that if you charge this amount let's say if you own this domain name you got to get twelve hundred and fifty dollars for it it doesn't mean that it's just giving you some idea of the the range or what they used to say to like I said the ballpark figure you know it could be higher or lower you know so that's not you know it's not an edge in stone thing that is worth like when you go buy a car you got to pay this price it's not that type of thing but it's just giving you some idea of the range of what you can possibly get for it if you market it correctly okay so um, I just wanna do this video to show people um, to me this is a very good tool to use um, to give you like I said some ideal you know of what it's worth so what we want what I want to do also in this video I want to go to lean domain search where I was just had to pick this domain up for and to show you that um, I mean knock this out here I think this is a good place to actually um, Try to find good domain combinations. Let's type in the name something simple. Car. I'm gonna type in car and see what happens. See what kind of combinations come up that you can possibly register. Because uh, lean domain search is a good place to actually, you know, find domains that's actually worth some money that you can actually flip it and really get paid for. So let's try car and see what happens. That's a pretty common name. And we're going to do a little scroll in here. Okay, let's see what happens. I was looking at Sirius Car, but I don't want to, I wouldn't want to touch that one because. Sirius is, uh, I believe, it's like a radio station, and, and it works through most people's cars. But it, I don't, you don't want to get any uh, copyright infringements on that one. So that's the one here. So if it is available, I, I don't think I want to want to touch that because that that looked like something that would be called uh, squatting. So I mean, 
squatting is I'm not I mean I'm not gonna get into that now that's for another video but I, that's one me personally I wouldn't touch so we'll go a little farther and see uh, okay rethink car that's not too bad but I don't think I would actually go and buy that one event car don't see any that I would actually touch yet points car that one here corporation car it's kind of long but I might that's something I probably would touch because see when you're dealing with domain names you got to deal with names that are easy to remember remember that everyone knows anyone practically out there that has haven't been living under a rock know what a corporation is and anyone definitely out there that's not living under a rock know what a car is so let's click on this one you know it's a little long I really don't want to touch anyone I usually don't touch domain names that that, that are this long but let's just check it and see because the, the the keywords are good though so let's see what happens corporation car this one is available um, well on their website they're really pushing Bluehost and WordPress um, I really uh, well register for they want you to register with WordPress or, or Bluehost I really don't deal with those because um, my, my choice is really GoDaddy so I'm gonna go back to GoDaddy And let's do an appraisal. By being so long, I mean it's probably not worth a lot, but we'll just see, you know. See what it's worth. Corporationcar.com. Let's see what it what it's worth. Wow, it did a little better than I thought. It's actually seventeen hundred dollars. Now, what I also recommend like I said to a lot of uh, new people are new to domaining is a lot of people enter enter into this um, industry they usually come in for some reason greedy you know and they would take a domain name like this and ask uh, maybe sixteen or twenty five thousand dollars for it and what they don't understand that is this domain name doesn't have any backlinks it's it hasn't I mean if you registered it's just been registered and like I said it has no backlinks so um, it has no history so no one is actually you know I mean unless it's a corporation in the car industry that just love the keywords and they feel that they definitely have to have this domain name that's about the only but the chance of, of that happen of you getting 15 or 16 or twenty five thousand dollars for a domain like this are extremely slim so what I suggest to a lot of you all that come on this channel if you want to really if you're really serious about starting to make money selling domain names is really like cut the price in half you know so let's go like uh, 650 bucks or something like that you know you know 650 or something like that don't don't go um, with a price that no one's actually gonna pay you know I mean you know I mean it's, it's just not gonna happen you know 600 let's go let, let's say like uh, seven seven eight seven eight hundred dollars some little a little over half or something like that you know but asking for Sixteen or twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars. You know, come on. You know, that's just just not going to happen in most cases. So, what's going to happen if you continue to do that? You continue to buy domain names, and you're trying to get these ridiculous prices. You're just going to be stockpiling domain names, and you're not going to be selling any. So, the best thing to do is, like I said, try to go some like half price or a little bit above half price, and it'll be you'll find it much easier if you market them market these uh, domain names in a, in a uh, very good manner you'll find it very easier to flip them and sell them now if you're gonna get like for a domain like this if you can get like 800 bucks for this or 700 dollars or somewhere in that range 
you only invested 10 bucks because the average domain is like 10 bucks just just think of how many more domain names you can buy or you can take a portion like uh, let's say if you got $800 for this domain name you can take 200 and pocket it and you can take the other $600 and buy a whole lot of other domain names and keep your business rolling so that's what I'm trying to teach people that are new to this because this channel is mostly designed for people that are new to doing domain names or selling domain names or domaining or whatever you want to call it, it uh, people that are new to this is trying to get you started on off on the right foot because I've seen it so many times and I've been on I don't know like thousands of websites people with domain names like this I want 60 grand it had, you know it has no it has no history it's it's not a it's not really alive yet other than you registering it it has no backlinks it has it has no <laughs> it has no juice or anything yet in it yet so I mean you, you're not gonna get that you know in most cases and, and like I said the only way unless you find a company that just loves those particular keywords and they feel they have to have it which is almost super rare it's like almost winning a lottery that's just think of that if something like that happens almost when it like winning a lottery it's just not gonna happen in most cases so um, that's the information I want to give today and like I said uh, try lean domain search I think is a very good website and also try uh, for when you register your uh, domain names you guys that are new to this go to the godaddy.com appraisal tool where we are now and you can put any domain name in you want you can like I said just type anything in this box you know and it's gonna give you the value of it you know like I said you can you know and let's say um, oh, I'm sorry Oh, my, my U is not working. I have a, okay. Like truck. I mean, you know truck.com is registered. But they estimated at $25,000. You know, I would think it's worth a lot more than that. Because that's, you know, I mean, it's just a common word truck. Just like car, you know. But anyway, to get some idea of what you can sell your domain names for, I'm just using that as an example. You can come to there and I'm, I'm just recommending these two sites and everything like that. And please, if you found any value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave us a comment. And I, we do answer comments in these videos, so please comment, and we see you in the next video. Take care.